Welcome to Compline on Thursday the 11th of February. Today we're celebrating the life of Benedict of Ania, from um, who lived from uh, uh, from 750 to 821. Uh, Benedict was uh, served royalty in southern France before becoming a monk in Dijon at the age of 20. He practiced asceticism, as, uh, he practiced asceticism and followed the Benedictine rule and, uh, and when he returned home in 700, 779 or 779 he built a little hermitage near a creek named Ania. The hermitage grew into a great monastery with more than 300 monks. And from that place, Benedict guided monastic reform throughout France. Um, he dedicated his life to restoring the rule of Benedict in France. The code he prepared radically and permanently altered Benedictine life. Benedict wore himself out with his labour and died at the age of 71. Benedict of Ania. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist, steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. We say together, we confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. We say together hymn number 311 from the hymn book Ancient and Modern. Lead us, Heavenly Father, lead us, o'er the world's tempestuous sea. Guard us, guide us, keep us, feed us, for we have no help but Thee. Yet possessing every blessing, if our God our Father be. <clears throat> Saviour, breathe forgiveness o'er us, all our weakness thou dost know. Thou didst tread this earth before us, thou didst feel its keenest woe. Lone and dreary, faint and weary, 
through the desert thou didst go. Spirit of our God descending, fill our hearts with heavenly joy, love with every passion blending, pleasure that can never cloy, thus provided, pardoned, guided, nothing can our peace destroy. Psalm 111 Alleluia! I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. In the company of the faithful and in the congregation, the works of the Lord are great. Sought out by all who delight in them, his work is full of majesty and honour, and his righteousness endures for ever. He appointed a memorial for his marvellous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He gave food to those who feared him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. He showed his people the power of his works. In giving them the heritage of the nations, the works of his hands are truth and justice. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast for ever and ever. They are done in truth and equity. He sent redemption to his people. He commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have those who live by it. His praise endures forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 12 to 14. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, and since then has been waiting until his enemies would be made a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace. according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the faith of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, 
and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us pray. Our God is the great healer, and the agent used more than any other is the NHS. Today we voice our gratitude for those who serve this country in the National Health Service, and pray that God would prosper the work of their hands, that they would be all encouraged in their continued work of sacrifice and care amongst us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We say together, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him for ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Be almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. 